Right guys, bit of a fun one today. Uh, we've got a fun bike, 1300 watt lithium powered two phase motor um, for repair. Uh, originally came in the display on the on off switch. I'll show you all this now. Uh, when you turned the vehicle on, was lighting up full and um, then dropping down completely empty. Close inspection, I've looked at the battery, found out that's the fault, I'll show you that. Found out also the controller has a few blown spots. Um, the vehicle's from 2018. Um, it gets used, as in it's not a toy. This one actually gets jumped, so this one is a used vehicle. So we need to get it back up to spec. Just going to have a quick overlook of the actual spec of the vehicle on the Fun Bikes website. So this is the exact one we've got. Um, this will be in a few sections, this video, so we can get a good view of it. I'm also going to kit the bay out so we can take a few hits as well. Uh, so we've got a 48 volt Fun Bikes MR1300. A 1300 watt two phase motor with a 48 volt lithium battery, top speed of 20 miles an hour. That's down to the gearing of the wheel, nothing to do with the battery. 48 volt battery should get it past 35, but because of the acceleration and the gearing needed for that, it's 20 miles per hour top speed. Charging time is five to eight hours. Honestly, looking at what's in the battery, that's very optimistic. It's a 10 hour battery with a two amp hour charger. So even from empty, two, four, six, eight, five is max. Uh, 7 to 13 year old age range, uh, there's the spec of the vehicle, twist throttle, rear shock, lovely chunky wheels, um, it's got a few limiters on the top of it, let's just have a look at the other details of this one, uh, let me see, so yeah, battery type is lithium based, 5 to 8 hours charging time, it has a Three, three potentiometers, one for top speed, one for acceleration, and one for I do not know yet. It's a straight up throttle and go, um, it's mainly off-road. Right, first of all, let's get around to the faults of the vehicle we have in front of us. Just change the camera, and here we are, let's move that out the way. So, all I've done to the battery so far is remove the blue casing, um, stripped it out, and cut the BMS off because that's going to be used on the new upgraded battery. Now the reason we're upgrading the battery. Now this is from 2018 as everyone knows the lithium based battery is only good for 12 to 24 months if it's used heavily. Um, it also depends what quality cells there are. As you can see, let's zoom these in. Fun bikes actually supply a 10 amp hour 48 volt battery with generic 18650 cells. Um, AliExpress special. Uh, two, two amp hours a piece. There is one, two, three, four, five in a row with 13 rows. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten amp hours and 13 in a row. 3.6 times 13 adds up to your 48 volts. That's how we get a 48 volt battery. This was in case just like this. Um, when I opened it, what I didn't agree with straight off the bat is a split design battery, which means the way they've joined it they've left it to split in the middle which is fine but there was no extra protection running down the middle which means any of these could have shorted against any of the others at any point if something spring off that's an instant no-no um, instant battery killer instant house killer if it happens in the middle of the night uh, let's see where we was at with this so I'll just run the multimeter up a second uh, we'll measure this battery from the last neg uh, from the first negative first positive as we always do to get an overall voltage there's our first positive and the last negative for this one is where are you down here so we are getting 19.46 volts um the pack is old it's, it's had issues basically um, as we all know when a 48 volt lithium based battery goes below 39 sometimes 40 volts depending on the bms you're not going to charge that back up ever again. Um, you'll plug the charger in, the charger light won't change colour, it'll stay green. Uh, it's a common sign that either your pack's out of balance, the cells as a whole have dropped below the LVC of the VMS, which is the low voltage cutoff point. We'll scrap all the technical stuff in a minute and get down to the cool stuff. Um, so yeah, this battery is no-no. So what we're going to do is replace this customer's request from a 48 volt 10 amp hour battery to a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery with Samsung 35E based cells. Um, so we're getting pound for pound power off of these. 
that'll be fun. Um, I thought that was the only issue. Then when we got down to the controller, let me just remove this. This is the controller out of the fun bikes. It's a basic two-phase motor, not a three-phase like we're used to. So it's just a plus and a minus that rotates the motor, basically. Not a three-phase where the rotation needs to be calculated by the controller in phases, etc., etc. We don't need to get into that. This is a fun one, as I said. The interesting thing about this is your brake lines. Is the throttle gearing system and the shunt is all plugged into three potentiometers that are on top of the handlebars that let you control the acceleration, top speed, etc. It makes it more suitable for a kid to ride, to learn to ride from beginning. Um, but I know the, the boy that's riding this is already experienced. This thing's getting jumped. So all the limits need to be just removed, taken off. So this was the original controller. Nothing fancy. Um, it done its job in all fairness and it's lasted a while. Spec is 48 volts, 1300 watts. Uh, this controller will cut off when the battery gets to 41.5 volts, give or take 0.5. That's the LVC of this controller, the low voltage cutoff point. It's manufactured 2019, 10th um, of the first month. Right, so we'll open this up a second. What we got? We got a contactor, usual MOSFETs, capacitors. Now, obviously, we've got the usual signs to look out for with the age of this is the capacitors. They usually dry up and bleed out. Um, again, they haven't got a lifespan longer than 24 months. But when I've had a close inspection of this, I've managed to get right into it. Let me peel some of this away a second for a better view. Yeah, here you go. Between the two capacitors at the base of the red terminal, and it will come across. I'm going to see if I can zoom you right in there. You can just start to see the corrosion now. Let's see if I can get in there a bit better. So, in there, the base of the capacitor at the top of the screen has blown. And also the other capacitor there has also blown. Um, it's just burnt all of the boards completely out. So this controller needs replacing. Yes, I could change this one capacitor, but there is more capacitors on the board than one. Um, so the lifespan of the board will be decreased anyway. So I'd be changing one capacitor just to swap the controller out again, maybe next month. Who knows? Apart from that, no damage on the back of the board. It's copper railed um, to take some power. As you can see, it's raised off the board, so it's not just a PCB track. They spared on the copper a bit there for some reason. Uh, apart from that, just a standard controller. Out of curiosity, MOSFETs used are. Let's see if I can get a model number off these. Generic MOSFETs. Okay, so that's the old controller. I can go back in it. And what we'll do is we'll get the new set out. Uh, obviously, the new controller come with the new throttle if needed. Um, just part of the package. Let's move that to the side a second. Let's see what's new. This is the new stuff that's going in. Some of you already know the deal with this. So let's have a look to see what they sent. We've got an optional throttle replacement with key ignition. So depending if the customer wants that, we'll swap out the original throttle and we'll put this full twist throttle on with key start. And a battery, it's got a better battery indicator than the original one on there. The original one there is just a four stage battery. I know this is only five, but one's better, gives you more accuracy. Uh, but yeah, that's cute. I like that. Comes with a matching grip for the other side, so everything stays nicey nicey. The controller, let's have a look what we got. We have. 48 volt controller. They did put much information on top like this one. Uh, so we're going to find out for ourselves. I also want to check the back rail on the new controller. Um, and I'm probably going to beef it up a bit, to be honest. Um, simple reason is the power delivery is better across the board. But it's less strain, should have less heat. The thing should last a bit longer. But that depends on the quality anyway. Uh, as a reference, though, the original one 
they've hot glued the cables in to try and keep it waterproof. Um, hot glue settles, cracks, breaks, as you can see straight down there. That didn't work out as an idea. This one has a grommet on it, like you'd find in industrial use. Um, Patris boxes, things like that. That's a nice seal grommet. I like that. Okay, they never tightened it up all the way. But nevertheless, the parts are there. So let's have a quick look at the back side of this a second. And down for, as for wiring, this comes with exactly the same power. It comes with a different connector for the motor, so we will be swapping a lot of connectors around here. We've also got charging port indicators, brake lights. I don't think there's any lights on this vehicle, but they can be fitted if needed. Brake, brake, throttle, they've labeled derailleur. That's a Chinese translation and a half. Sun's coming through. Power lock, uh, key ignition. Sport mode. This kid's going to love sport mode. You just got hella bright in you. Uh, we have to sort that out. That's a problem. Even our guard rays. This one is rubber gasketed front and back. Oh, I like where we're going with this already. This is a Yeon Tech controller. Now, I was going to dig in here and reinforce this rail, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, we're going to reinforce the rail. Let's pop it out. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Out comes a metal rail. See what they've done to the power rail of this. Um, and we'll beef that up. What I'll do is just get inside this controller, call this part one. And the next part will be me reinforcing this controller. Um, an overview of what is actually on this bike and these potentiometers. The battery bay I've got to work with. Um, and we'll get this installed straight away. Nice and easy. So it'll be a quick wide up demo as well, I suppose. It is a two phase, so it's not going to be very complex. What we got here? They shared the power over four caps instead of two. That's a hell of a back rail. And I would prefer to chunk that up a bit more, but that does look clean. Where's the... Where is the... So look at the original controller. They've removed the shunt mod and used the shunt resistor. Hmm. Okay. What I mean by that, the old controller had a shunt. It was set to a... Th the old controller, which is this one, is a... Well, wait there. This was only rated for 36 volts, the original controller, 36 volts DC. What's the crack there? Anyway, original controller, as you can see between the green and black, has two metal bars. They're called shunts. They're determined how many amps the battery gives the motor via the controller. This was originally a 1000 watt controller, the original one. And as you can see, there's a little lump of solder on the first shunt. The more solder you add to the shunt, the more you up the amperage that's running through the controller, uh, the more powerful you get that rear motor going. So this was a standard 1000 watt, and that little dab of solder there has added an extra 300 watts of power. I'm going to do exactly the same with this new controller, except it doesn't have a shunt. What it's got is a shunt resistor, so that'll be fun. I might leave a potentiometer on to adjust that so we can do it on the fly. That'd be cool. So right, we'll slap this back together a second. MOSFETs are non-generic. These are labelled and nice. So I'll just thread this back in here and um, we'll start building this. What I'll do is I'll run through the wires, swapping some connectors out, just some normal stuff. 
and then we'll get around to the fun stuff in a bit. Right, be back shortly.